All right, hello everybody. This is a, another look at a game that made my EIO series way back last January, January 28th, the day this game launched of 2019. So almost a year ago, I reviewed this game, a $3 game, $2.99, and a game where I really said in that video that I believe the indie developer was trying to do way too much. Uh, he was trying to make an epic, like, you know, RPG adventure and uh, have all these skills and flight and, you know, uh, exploring by boat and by dungeon and all kinds of stuff. Weather conditions, swimming. It had a lot. And I really admire the developer for really trying to do so much in this game. And even though the game was really buggy and, uh, you know, had a lot of problems with it, you know, I had a long video. I tried to show the developer, um, you know, what things to change, suggestions on how he can make the game better, how he can eliminate some of the bugs, a lot of different things. But I did see a lot of effort and time put into this game by the developer. And so even though it scored low, I gave the game a uh, effort is obvious. And I was hoping that he would make the game better. That was last January. Almost a year later now, I'm taking a second look at it for the first time. And I gotta say guys, what happens when I just installed this game is I come here, you see it's early access, this kind of thing. But when we go and we try to play the game, like right here, as you can see, I put an hour and a half into it last January. And I have a positive review, even though I let people know in my review that the game is a buggy mess. Here's my video, uh, very unfinished with tons of bugs, graphical problems, and a big mess. But I said the reason I'm recommending this game is because even though this game's full of issues, it needs a lot of work, I can see, fulfill, and easily see his vision and a ton of hard work to create his dream. I never want to shatter somebody's dreams, or like an indie developer's dream, uh, of making a game that they dream, maybe dreamt of making for years. That is not why I do what I do here on Steam. A lot of the missed videos and a lot of the really bad reviews that I give out to developers are when I see like no effort or I see asset flipping or I see just an obvious, very little effort. You know, just, you know, it's, it's obvious that developers are just trying to make a quick cash grab or something like that. But anytime, even if I see a really buggy mess, um, you know, I always try to, give the developer the benefit of the doubt, try to see his vision, and even try to offer suggestions and help to make him make his game better. But guys, the problem here is when I tried to, when I downloaded this game and tried to be, you know, trying to play it, even after, uh, you know, shutting down Steam and opening Steam back up, if I hit play now, this is what I get. Um, I'm ready to launch and I hit play game and it's missing the executable. So that's not a big deal, except for the fact when I come down here and I look at the reviews, remember I reviewed this game in late January, but as early as March 21st, just a couple of months later, we have the same problem. This game hasn't had an executable for, what is it, March until October is seven, eight months now. So for at least about eight months, probably, this game hasn't even had an executable. And I wonder how many people have paid $3 to this developer uh, to buy the game and can't even play what I played. So this right here shows a complete lack of care by the developer. This to me shows me that after almost a year after I initially reviewed his game on launch day, the developer has shown so little care for his only Steam game on Steam that he's pretty much just abandoned it. He doesn't care that he's getting a negative review with a mix missing executable or he would have fixed this way back in March. Instead, today, in November, some eight months after this guy had this problem, we still have a, mix, uh, you know, a missing executable problem. So I'm sad to say, guys, that this game is going to be reported to Steam, and this, Noel's Hope, a game that I really hoped the developer would build upon from his initial launch day game that I played and was able to play, I really hope that he would make his game better, especially when you give him almost a year. And instead, 
the game's been left on Steam with nothing to play. You know, it doesn't even have the executable when you download it for more than eight months. It's obvious this developer has given up. He's abandoned his project, and he just doesn't care. So Noel's hope, as of today, becomes myth number 70. Maggot infested stinky shit. Why? Not because the developer, you know, made a very buggy initial first game, but it looks like at some point after that review, he just gave up. Maybe he went in and tried to fix the, the problems that I pointed out to him. Maybe he tried to, you know, do some of the suggestions that I gave him. I don't know, but maybe he just couldn't do it and he just gave up. And so, for whatever reason, we've had no executable file in a $3 game on Steam for about eight months, at least eight months. So, um, to you, Mr. Developer, I'm not even going to try to pronounce your name. If you see this video, I hope that you don't give up. I hope you go back and give people what they pay for in your game um, and you try to make it better. But at this point, I'm going to report to Steam that your game is basically fraud because you're selling a game here on Steam that doesn't even have an executable. We can't even play the buggy mess that I played last January. So it is what it is, guys. Be sure you comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. You guys think that he just, you know, abandoned the project like I do? Do you think maybe he made a mistake? But if he made a mistake, why did he, and he cares about his game, why did he not fix it, you know, last March? Why has there been a no executable file for what looks like at least eight months? Anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.